My name is Jason. My name is Jessica. And we're here to talk to you today about the importance of rubber bands in your life. I don't think you've overlooked just how important rubber bands can be. Uh, we're talking about God, specifically Jesus Christ. Oh, that And <laughs> the Bible. Yay! Uh, quick note. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. The most important thing. The most important thing. I would like to point out <laughs> This first. is my coffee. Well, it's actually no. in regards to your <laughs> coffee. Adding uh, honey to coffee oh, results yeah. in the worst yeah. tasting garbage that will ever traipse over your palate. <laughs> it's terrible. Because uh, I'm trying to be healthy. Um, but because it's so bad, and I love honey, because it's so bad though, it went from healthy, just plain coffee with honey, to not to put a touch of car caramel in it or caramel, whoever you pronounce it. I'm sure that'll start a war. It's this, it's that. Uh, and whip. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah, this right. is just a big mess. There's now. a lot of them that you can do that one with. It's all yeah. her fault for some always, reasons. Always. Um, so, why we're here? Yeah, besides, that's, that's a big one. Besides spread, oh, did you say? Besides <laughs> spreading the word of God. <laughs> um, we, well, we believe, we've always believed, Yeah. but recently... Yeah. Let's, let's just say the stories first. We've recently um, really gotten into it, and we've seen just even recently what a change it's made when you... You, you can't just be a fly-by-night. You have to believe, just because that's, what it, that's what's called for. That's what's prescribed for the Bible. Life in the Word. So having Every said that, day. even though it's hard. <laughs> she... What, well, I didn't go to church ever. My dad was obviously a religious Christian. Yeah. I never went to church. So I went to Catholic church. I have not read. I've read maybe 2% of this. You know what, babe? I think I've actually just read about 2% of it, too, really. Right. I mean, even just living in church, like, my whole life. And you well, just, tell us what just, you did. Yeah, I guess. So I was brought up Catholic and went to church, and I remember being this like young girl sitting in a pew and I loved it pew, and pew, I loved pew, God and pew, I felt pew, pew. his spirit and I just when you're young and you've got all the world stuff and family and you sort of just get I get I guess distracted from what to do with it and I just felt in me like a calling nothing was wrong really like with the Catholic Church I suppose it just wasn't me so I remember I think it was like when I was 14 and my boyfriend at the time went to a Baptist church so it was all about a personal relationship with the Lord and I was like that's exactly what I felt like I was being called for so um, I started going and I loved it but the problem was is that I didn't like live it and I think that's sort of what I've recently come to come to terms with is that I felt like I've always been called you know and I just didn't know what to do with it I yeah, you know you, so uh, that's pretty yeah. much what it is so okay, here so we so are so after a bunch like, of junk so just, like stare at you and, you know, and do the nodding oh, oh gosh I know I don't even know what you're supposed to do, to be yeah. honest. So, oh, here's the kid. He's probably going to rub up against it. Yeah, he's going yeah, to rub up against it to shake it all over. Um, but yeah, anyway, my, yeah, so that's, and now we hear So we she are. was as a kid. Yeah. I never really went to, the point is, here's, here's what I... My, one of the main thoughts on my mind as in life in general as of late is ego. And I'm not talking like the arrogant ego. It's just um, the vast majority of people walking around thinking they know a lot more about everything than they really do, including myself. All of us. So, and I'll us. delve into that more later, but I think what's gonna be interesting about this is, we are going to read this from front to back, and we might get a different version. I'm working on a different version. Because so wait, let's version. see what the, let's point yeah. out what the Well, it's the is. Holy Bible, King James Version, study to show, uh, blah, 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 there's no other, uh, oh, uh, okay. Holman Bible Publishers, Pretty, pretty standard Bible here. Yeah. We're so trying to work on one that is much, much older and is more of a translation of the word and stuff. But the um, point is, we don't know. We're going to read this for the first time and then we're going to try to interpret it ourselves and see what. And not really like preach it or anything no, like that. No, we're just going to try to figure out what it says. We don't want to do anything like that. 
But no. just, yeah, just kind of figure out and maybe look at other things. Yeah, and then we'll, afterwards, too. we might look at, what's, pick someone online and see what they thought to see if, oh, well, we agreed with them, or wow, we were way off, or we think they're way off. Oh, we won't do that today, maybe uh, coming up later. Um, we've sort of been, so we've been going to church, said, oh, like, like just times. a basic Christian church. Just um, started. Yeah, just started, I would say, like two to three months ago, and then we've been just listening to other things online and just kind of sh basically struggling with our own But very stuff. little. The point is, and the point yeah. is, is... So not much. We not don't much. know, really. We haven't been educated, so there will be no ego. It, well, there's a few parts, and we'll be honest to point out where we've heard other things. Um, there's no going to be, there's not going to be an application of ego that's potentially blinding us from even seeing another point of view or, you know, well, that's pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I so, guess that is pretty much Like I said, the true. format's yeah. going to be, for most, it's not everything's, everything's subject to change, but the format will be, we'll start off uh, with me looking good, and then <laughs> we will um, read however much we read. I don't think it's going to be too much per video. No, because I think it can get overwhelming. And overwhelming. then we will yeah, very overwhelming. talk about it. Now, I don't know if we're going to read what we read and then talk about all of it after. I sort of think we'll, whatever people end up liking the most, but yeah, that's a good point. if we wait till the end, we might forget about something we want to talk about, but I don't want to interrupt each other every like, two seconds. Yeah. So... We'll play it by ear. Well, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. So, without further ado, do you want to start first or do you want me to? You want to go ahead and start. You've got it. So. Right. Full disclosure, this idea sort of was born a couple weeks ago because at dinner, Jessica had the idea of reading a couple of verses at dinner yeah. with our child, discussing it and whatnot, and then it sort of morphed from there. I had the idea to whatever. Um, I'm also going to do another video series, not anything to do with the Bible. I'm just going to, uh, quick plug, I'm going to pick random videos of people I follow and watch and just respond to them with my opinion because everybody should know my opinion because I'm important, you know. Wait, I thought, we're, I thought we were checking the ego at this point. <laughs> <laughs> my opinion is important, all right? Because I'm just going to respond to random strangers that annoyed me or made me happy with their videos with what I think. Me, baby. Okay. All right. So let's go uh, to what what the word says. I don't know where to start. Oh. <laughs> the, book, <laughs> the book of Genesis. Where it all begins, right? Where it all begins. Right? Where it all These begins. people are taking it serious. They're joking. Oh my oh, God! This no, disrespect. Oh no, no, no. You see, roll out there, people. It's all good. Um, God gave me a sense of humor. And I gave. I think I got the heart. Oh, I know yeah. I have the heart. You got the. You got the humor. I got the heart. So. Well, and let's do it. He, both, he gave us both bad backs too, so we we uh, move around like jumping Mexican means. <laughs> okay, the book of Genesis, chapter one. Oh, and I can already know, yes, the audio is terrible. Like I said, we just started this, and um, oh, I said, oh my God. We're going to get lapel mics so that the audio isn't atrocious and sounds like we're in this big room with all sorts of echo and whatnot. But well, you're gonna have to bear with us for now. Uh, maybe the next video, the video after that, we'll have mics. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, chapter one, the book of Genesis. Here, let me come closer to you you're so gonna... I can look. Oh, well, that's, okay. that's okay. Listen, my awesome reading skills are so amazing. You <laughs> seem like you're back in Here time. There we go. Let's go yeah, like that. Oh, you can't read like that. Uh, chapter one. In, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made a firmament, the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Just time I'm on eight. What I'll do is I'll read this side, and then you can read that side. Ah, oh, good idea, good idea. 
Oh, and I just, sorry to interrupt, but I just thought, you know, if people have their own Bibles at you like, can read home, a, you can read along. Sort of, like, yeah, I mean, it's just an idea. I'm just going with it. Okay. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, and, the, and, the, and God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God, God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, the fruit yield, a tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind. And the tree yielded, yielded fruit, whose seed was in, it, in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. I'll just finish 16 because it goes. Oh, yeah, that's okay. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So we're going to talk about that now so we don't forget it and then go to you or do you want to just read this and give it the whole shebang? Um, you know, it, it's probably better to just Cause try it. to do a quick little thing because sometimes... We could try it a different way. Oh, wait, yeah. you want to talk about it? You mean? Do you want to do that or just want to keep going? Well, I mean... What are you feeling? Uh, let's talk about it because then we won't get too that, much. Yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking too because it, it, there's a lot of information. You know? So as we said, full disclosure. In this one. Full disclosure, we have already read this part. I think we've read up to chapter 5. Yeah. So not much. Yeah, not much at all. And we've talked about this already. There's not much really, I don't think, going on here. I think what's... He made the earth. He made some stuff. And I think what's important, what I think is important to note are a couple things. The firmament... Which is weird, right? The first time we read this, it's like, <laughs> yeah, because you know, put it stop out. right here. It's a little weird. Because there's people that believe uh, round Earth, flat Earth, and this is where ego comes in. See, right here is where you need to check yourself if you watch this, because I will guarantee you, the majority of the people automatically are like, oh, flat Earth. That's afraid. those people are dumb. That right there, I, I'm not talking about whether it's true or not, but yeah, that right no there, when you already have a, a, a label somebody or whatever, and you don't know yourself. That's the problem with the ego, and you're, but I know what you're saying. Well, I know it's around. Well, unless you've been up in space yourself with your own eyes, I get, I get what you're saying right now. Just hear me out. Really step out of yourself and just, you have to realize you don't know. You just don't know. It could be around. I don't care either way. You just, what you have to realize is you don't know. Um, just like people, you know, you watch the news, you think you're uh, informed. You don't really know what's going on in your neighbor's house. You can be in like, you don't know. All you know is what you're doing right here and now, really. And even then. And we got, so, we got this. so we read this and we're like, well, wait a minute now. Uh, I got me the firmament, which divided the waters from the waters. So if there is a firmament, a dome, and there's... I'm just not yeah, going to get into no it. I have no idea, to be honest. There, let's put it this way. There is some credence to say that there's a dome over us. Whether the round is... It, that doesn't mean it's flat. There could be a dome Here's, around the whole... Yeah, and the problem is, is that there's a lot of metaphors. Um, what we think. We think. We don't know. But it seems like there's a lot of metaphors, too. So... Okay, so let's move on, because like yeah. I said, this isn't an argument about it's that. It's not really about that. People can wage yeah. war. People can wage war in the comments. Exactly. Um, then, let's see, he made herbs and grass. I think the key thing here is, again, we've already talked about this part. You have to pay attention to the importance of yielding seed. Like, the things just don't disappear. He makes it so that a certain thing He's can make... It's sustain itself. Yeah, that's the cool thing. That's, I guess I think yeah. that's what's important here. Yeah, that's 
That's definitely important. The lights in the sky, and he made the sun in the moon. And uh, I think that's pretty much so we'll go. Man, we're gonna have to find a way to sort of maybe speed this up because it looks like we're only gonna be able to talk about one page at a time. Yeah, you know, my That's last gonna take um, forever. My last Which thing that I wanted to say and think about more, this more, is you know. sometimes I think we all get caught up in the details of everything. Which you know, is sometimes, we pick apart like, sometimes everything and there important. it's just let's just try to Right, know. we don't need rare. We'll just do quick. If there's something I think we really want to hash it out with. Yeah, you know. ex exactly. But, like, uh, you know, let's try to. Um, that's what we're just. Okay, so here. Not, we not get caught up in the details yeah. of every little thing and just realize that God's created all this. His spirit really just moved over and created all this. And that's really, I think, yeah. at the heart of it. Alrighty. So I'm starting at 17. And, okay, just as a preface, I am a terrible at reading. So, sorry if I struggle with some of the words, especially later on. <laughs> but, all right, so oh, verse 17. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. So now we've got the, f that was the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. So we got the fifth day. Not to interrupt, but I just think, I just have to say right now. Sorry, I just like to point it out a little bit. No, no, it's good, but I like to say right now. I just don't always I think I think God, <laughs> God set a terrible precedent. Why? By working six friggin' days. Why could he just stand this finger and been done in like three days? Because he's got it. Then we do a, then we do a four day weekend now instead of. That's because he's just cool and no. he can do that stuff. No, and we're just like, I uh, can't, can't, can't keep up with this pace, right? I think that was a lot funnier when I thought it on my mind. <laughs> That's okay. The workout and maybe like six out of ten. Mm, little here in the middle there, mm. maybe going up. Mm. Wasn't terrible. Four. He should work four days. I would have did three day weekends. Yeah. And then he rested. Yeah. And then he rested yeah. on the fifth, sixth Sunday that year. Like, she did a lot more resting. Right. Give himself a break. And carry on. Sorry. I know, right? Yeah. I'm, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be very annoying this whole video series, just so you know now. And it's, who, it's just who you are. You're just a jokester. But very annoying. All right. So twenty four. And God said, "Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind." Cattle and creeping thing, which always got to me. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind. And the cattle after their kind. And everything that creep, creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image. This is where it gets good. After our likeness. Why is he saying our though? Yeah, we'll talk about it after. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, I mean, obviously it's... Uh, we'll keep going. We're going to yeah. derail ourselves here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You get caught up in every detail of the Bible. Well, I have a feeling this is going to get fun. <laughs> it's going to get fun. Yeah. And let them have domination over the fish oh, wait, dominion dominion <laughs> domination <laughs> sorry That's right. thank you over the fish of the sea and over the fowl 
of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. That's a lot of creeping. Yeah, right? <laughs> so God created man in his own image. In the image of God. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Gets wordy because, you know, back then. Yeah. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have domina domination. <laughs> Dominion. Dominion. I know, right? I just, for some reason. It's like video game enough. Yeah, it's like, now, oh yeah. You know how it is. Multi-kill. Over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And then I've got one last. Is that going to go on to the other page? It goes or? on to. Oh, then leave it for now. Well, actually, we're so close to chapter two. Let's just get there. Well, we got a lot to talk about. This video is already yeah, long. We're true. gonna have to. Like I said, we'll have to tweak this, but. but Let I me, take yeah, we'll about, just finish there. Though. Why does it say? Blah 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 blah. That's gonna be watch blah blah. <laughs> okay, twenty six. And God said, "Let us make man in our image." This is the first time that it talks like that, like it's plural. Like, is he got someone? Look, what does he have? Like a. Oh, and if somebody knows and can help us out, like, give us some light. You does know, it's like, not like a one-way street where like it's a, all, like, us and people might, might like know a, more, you know. Did he have a parrot on his shoulder? I was, was he just like, yeah, I don't know. Like, was he walking his dog while he was making us? And he was just like, well, I guess it wouldn't make sense to make in our image. Cause you, so well, maybe have someone else with him? Yeah, or maybe it just was a good way to, like, in our likeness. use the word. Yeah, it says our bunch. This is the first time it's it's talked about like that. So that's number one what we're, I think, Yeah, about. where did it, it sort of 26. started. Um, no, 26 were there, but he was talking about. Yeah, because the rest of it was like the um, well, we were talking cattle about and the and beasts and, the beasts and all okay, that so kind of stuff. Okay, so why, why does it specifically say. And then it transitions. Why does it say that he made the cattle, which could be considered a beast, but then in the fish and anything, like the animals can be considered beasts, but then why does it specifically say beast after that again? Yeah, we're trying to figure out what that, and that, that I, means. I've heard no, like, complete idea. In, um, other verses yeah. and other Bibles, one passage says, and the beasts of the field threw up their hands to pray to God or something to that effect. So, oh, we're sort of confused on that. Yeah, the, the wording um, of it. Unless, unless God, because it says, a little, like I said, for, we read a little bit forward, we're full disclosure. It later says God made man something that affects, but he saw no progress. So then he made man in his, you know, with more like him, he made it. So was he, did he make man, but then they were just normal, and then he made Adam and Eve, and he breathed life, his own DNA into Adam and Eve. Yeah, that's we're why not, Adam we're and Eve is godly. Sure. That's what I've heard, and it kind of makes sense. Because what else, why does it say beast, and why, why, you know? Or is beast the rest of um, but the all, animals? But that's all. But beast is all encompassing. Why would he specifically say kill? But and not just say he made the beasts of the earth. Maybe he just was like, okay, I'm tired of using all these other words. I'm just gonna <laughs> clump them all together. You know what I mean? Because that's very possible too. I think that's. Did you want to touch on anything that you were curious about? Or Let me take a look. In what you wrote. Oh, well. I think the like most of it before, no, because it was just very specific about how he just made everything. I think the biggest thing is that we're sort of like I felt like we had this like responsibility almost to like yeah like to take care of it. You know, he made all these things that are supposed to multiply and do this and that. We're, and I'm we're, probably interpreting my own little into it. Well, that's, but that's fine. What am I doing? It does People. sort of say like Sorry. there is a responsibility in that like somewhere. I'm going to uh, when I edit this put texts a text on the bottom of the screen oh. and I'm going to say the word like and then have a counter. Yes. And every time you say like I'm going to go ding. <laughs> 
ding, ding, and we'll see. And I almost feel like when I get a thought and when oh. I'm reading it, I'm just going to like stop and go with it. Oh. Because sometimes when you think something when you're reading it so and you're then not it gonna comes to it. you, yeah. you like, and then you try to go back, it, it just doesn't work. So I think it's So that means okay. she's going to go into Baptist, Baptist. Yes, and, no. <laughs> yes, uh, and I'm going to get an organ. I'll get an organ and be when you get done like when you're leading into it. Y yeah, exactly. When I'm like yeah. really feeling it or I feel like he's telling me something. Which so, yeah. maybe, Anything you know, else going on here? Because I'm sure it's going to be But yeah, long. so that was really it. Um, I think that's sort of self-explanatory, he made all these things and we have to take care of it. Okay, so like I said- And then he made, he started making man. So, so. Uh, this was one page, this is a long <laughs> video. Yeah. Uh, we're not, I'm not really, I guess we're gonna have to play it by ear and see if we, if we can do this. I don't know, if this is the way it is and we have to make four billion videos, and we, uh, if we have to make, holy moly, one, two, I don't know, this many videos, and I guess we will if people like it, or, or even if they don't, because these are going to be out there to spread the word of God, so we don't care if any of you like it or not, to be quite That's honest. really, I mean, I, I hate saying it, I'm sorry, but... Go watch something else then. It's just, yeah, that's really what it's meant for, is let's just read it, and yeah, we can do a little interpreting, but it, it, it's more, it's not really about that, it's more about saying, like, Let's get the word out there and let's sort of examine our own belief systems. And we're going to leave our, our ego souls. at the door. And let's leave the ego at the door and just sort of, yeah. Which is easy. That's how I feel. Which is easy for me. <laughs> Not easy for him at all. What? It's okay. You're doing pretty good. Um, and I'll tell you now, the best thing in the world too is this little remote that starts and stops the recording that came with that tripod. It's awesome. Everybody needs one. But it probably won't work now. And Finn. Wait, did it work? I didn't hear the noise, so I don't know if it's <laughs> no, no, no. no, of course it didn't. <laughs> yeah. It never, wait, wait, I don't know if anybody knows, like, they never do what they say they're going to do. It's just, it's just, it's just, no, it's just, 